part of what's really hard to come to terms with this is that sort of this sweet little perfect boy now has rotten kidneys. My kidney function had declined to just 7% of its maximum over a period of at least seven years which meant that over a very long time I just got more and more used to feeling more and more shitty within myself. Maybe about four or five years ago I started to feel very tired, very unfocused, having memory problems and concentration problems all the time. But these were things that most people my age complained about. I was um, in dead need of a transplant and dialysis if I was going to get any better. I was extremely shocked, I felt cold and tight in my chest and I was upset but also too stunned to properly express it. I was just gobsmacked. I, I, I just couldn't believe it. Lots of people came forward with support. Friends would visit me in hospital with chocolate and books and keep me company and family would call and visit with um, offers of donating kidneys. Beforehand I ate whatever I wanted and generally pretty terribly but with kidney failure I generally can't process sodium, phosphate or potassium which means that takeaway foods, um, high potassium foods like a lot of vegetables, potatoes, uh, chocolate and beer and cheese are all out, which are some of my favorite things. So every night I have to perform very strict hand hygiene before I connect to the machine. I sterilize the entire area and I make sure all my supplies haven't expired yet. Then I open up the dialysis fluid bags and uh, the packet of tubes and I connect the tubes to the machine and then to the bag. Then I perform more hand hygiene because by that point my hands will become contaminated and I connect myself and I have to lie down for eight and a half hours while the machine then fills my body with fluid, lets it sit and soak for a while and flushes it out for a total of five cycles over the night. I feel and think that dialysis it, it maybe separates me in that um, it's this alien thing that I have to plug into. I've got a tube sticking out of my stomach. Honestly, I don't think about it much. I, I joke about it. I, I show people for a laugh or to get a shock reaction, but other than that, it doesn't really register. Luckily, my parents were both willing and were both going to be worked up for compatibility tests. And she said, yes, there's a, there's a 90 to 95% chance that one of you will, will be the donor and everything's going to be okay. And at that point, I just started sobbing because uh, unbeknownst to me, I had this sort of immense anxiety within me and then to hear that basically everything was going to be okay to, to hear it from an expert um, was uh, the, the relief was just overwhelming. There wasn't really any sort of process about how do I feel about donating a kidney it was just automatic it, it didn't even sort of really factor in that just seemed the most natural thing uh, it wasn't like well um, oh well I would need to donate a kidney maybe or Craig would need to donate a kidney it was just like hopefully we can donate a kidney it wasn't uh, it, it wasn't there was no decision process there at all and I do remember waking up on the Thursday morning thinking I'm, I'm never going to be happy again that, that was it I, I just couldn't see a time in my life when now that this has happened that, that I could ever actually be happy but then it's funny that within a few hours I thought, well, I will be happy when maybe one of us is a suitable don donor or, or we can get a kidney for him. He, he was a dear little boy and, and, and that's been part of what's really hard to come to terms with this is that sort of this sweet little perfect boy now has rotten kidneys. He was always incredibly healthy and there was there was never any reason to believe that one day he wouldn't be healthy. You create this child who is so lovely and they grow older and, and they're so lovely but stuff happens. The premise that they work on is that they can do no harm so I have to be a, a healthy person who can manage with one kidney so I've had to have a, a lot of general health testing and then I've had to have a lot of testing to ensure that both of my kidneys um, operate really well and um, thankfully they do and we're at the stage where it looks like things are going to be pretty good there. At this rate we'll have a date for the transplant soon.
after the transplant there will be some lifestyle restrictions uh, it won't be as severe as the dialysis restrictions but they'll include never being able to drink grapefruit juice again unfortunately and i'll have to cut down on sunbathing because there's a slightly increased risk of cancer of all sorts i'm really looking forward to um having the transplant and getting over that hurdle and recovering from it. I'm pleased that we live in the day and age that we do when to have a kidney transplant is a fairly standard operation and yeah, I'm, I'm eager, I'm eager to get it, to, not over and done with, but eager to move forward on our path. From what was extremely scary to begin with and very worrying, um, it's, it's just wonderful that, 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 that our eldest son is going to be okay after all this. I'm alright. I'm, um, I'm trying not to make a big deal out of it, generally. <laughs>